Back like we never left. What is good, everybody? Today's video was inspired by a recent coaching session around understanding that the way your ex left your life, oh, that tells you everything you need to know. Now, you already know how I get down. I don't like to waste time, and I'm ready to get into it, so let's do that right now. You do realize it ain't no turning back the hands of time, right? Changing the feeling of shock and disappointment, right? So now you get to live with that reality, right? But see, it ain't just the reality of being heartbroken. It's the reality that the picture you had painted in your mind, the expectation expectations and the plans that you had, the marriage, the kids, the commitment, the financial future, all that goes out the window. And while that hits like a ton of bricks immediately after the breakup or divorce, it also makes you try to keep putting the pieces together. You know, the pieces we sometimes don't want to acknowledge about our relationships. See, we can cap all day long and act like things weren't that bad in the relationship. But that all depends on what your definition of bad is, right? Is bad a lack of sex, a lack of communication, a lack of affection and care, or is bad cheating, lying, toxic, manipulative, discarding you in your worst moments. Because both are unacceptable, aren't they? Especially when you've been a loyal partner. But you know something? We don't truly learn how to love sometimes until we love on the wrong damn people. And that's not to say everything was all bad. That your ex was a complete train wreck, but how they left your life. How they walked right into that new rebound relationship. How they seem unaffected by the pain that they caused on their way out the door. The lies that they told. The financial destruction that they caused. The confusion and lack of clarity and closure that you now have should tell you everything you need to know about them, right? But if it doesn't quite yet, let's make it make sense. How valued did you feel towards the end? How well were they communicating with you? How many details did you know about their career, their personal life, their relationships with their friends, family, and kids? Why did they get so cold and distant towards the end? How come they could never make time for you anymore? How come you stopped feeling like you were a priority in that relationship? How come you felt so isolated and alone, even though you slept next to each other every single night? When was the last time you had a well-deserved getaway? You know, one that didn't end in an argument. Why were you constantly being given the silent treatment daily? How come it always felt like you were the one always making sacrifices in the relationship, while at times they were giving you below the bare minimum? And even more important question, why were you accepting all of this? See, we know we can see those red flags and the problems with behavior. It's just hard accepting it in the moment. But see, sometimes we gotta get lost. We have to feel broken. We have to be confused about next steps to start loving and appreciating ourselves better so that this type of behavior doesn't start to seem like it's normal to us. So if you're really ready to start making some changes in your life, to start seeing love differently, to start loving you differently so you can repel this type of person and behavior in the future, start taking a deep dive into the hows and whys and be so disgusted with that behavior you accepted and the underappreciation you were showed that you'll never allow another motherfucker into your life to walk all over your good heart with dirty ass feet. As always, thank you to every single one of you for tuning in and checking out this video today. If you're new to the channel, become official to the squad. Hit that subscribe button and that bell notification down bottom. Come and be a part of a team that will always push you towards personal greatness. I'll be back soon with another new video, but in the meantime, have an amazing day. Stay strong and stay inspired. And as always, until I see you guys next time, peace.